The purpose of this video is to demonstrate that phi, in the context of a Pearson chi-square analysis, is the equivalent of a Pearson correlation. So this demonstration is based on the handedness and dyslexia example data file, where handedness was measured with a nominal scale where zero coded to right-handers and one was coded for left-handers. And we have people who are either dyslexic or not, and zero is coded no, and one is coded yes. So I'll recreate the Pearson chi-square analysis with the phi coefficient for handedness dyslexia statistics and phi. And here we get the value that I reported in the textbook equal to 0.297. So now I'm going to run this as a correlation. Correlate bivariate handedness and dyslexia and click OK. And here is the correlation between handedness and dyslexia, and it's equal to 0.297. So what does this correlation actually mean? Well, you always have to keep in mind the manner in which the data were coded. So a value of 1 is larger than a value of 0. So as one variable goes up, the other variable goes up in a positive correlation. So being left-handed is related to higher level of dyslexia. So it's a positive correlation. As one variable goes up, the other goes up. So it's actually possible to get a phi coefficient in the context of a Pearson correlation that's negative in direction. In this case here, it's positive, and we understand the implication. There's a better chance of being diagnosed with dyslexia if you are left-handed. 